Why are we all just staring like this? Are you two gonna talk? Gosh, do you think he'll be able to do it? Oh, so we're just sitting here waiting where the Riku and Sora will come back? Hmm. It's clear you cannot teach a cat to bark. But Merlin and the three good fairies are aiding him in a place that's more temporally flexible. Is this Axel they're talking about? My hope is that he can at least learn to wield it. Wait, wield what? What kind of... Is he getting a keyblade or something? He certainly has fire. So I suppose it depends now on how strongly it burns. Oh. But what about Sora and Riku? Well... If we are running on the assumption Xehanort knew what we were planning, then he still would need to have been there. Back in the very place and time when the Destiny Islands were lost to darkness. Otherwise, Sora and Riku would have been beyond his reach. Hmm. Gee, do you really think it's possible Xehanort could have planned things that far in advance? No, as a matter of fact, I do not. But what if he did the same thing as Sora and Riku did, and he jumped through time? For that to work, a version of himself would have had to exist at both source and destination. Not even Xehanort can transport his whole body across vast reaches of time. Oh no. I remember, Sanord did give up his body. It was a version of him that was possessing Riku. No, it cannot be. Could he be that cunning? Possess that kind of foresight? <laughs> if it's all right with you, can I go help Sora and Riku out? How? You cannot enter the world of a dream. Where will you go? If Xehanort really is behind all this, then they won't stay in the dream worlds forever. Eventually, they're gonna reappear somewhere that we can go reach them. And we can even probably guess the place. Follow the hearts, and you'll find the way. That's something Master Aqua told me once. Hmm. We're going too. Ah, oh, fellas, you're my best pals. But this time, I really do need to go it alone. The dangers are greater than anything we've ever faced before. If That's why I want to go, so I die! I don't want to be around you fuckers anymore. If something were to happen to Sora and Riku and me, why, you'll be the only ones left to keep this world safe. We're screwed. Mickey, I was not able to locate Sora, but I sense Riku's presence in the realm between. Trust your heart, and I know you will find him. Thank you. I promise I'll bring them both back safe and sound. So it seems they're introducing a time travel mechanic to this, and it, from what I just heard, it involves that you can only go back to times where your body existed or something? So is that another reason why Xehanort switches bodies? Because he wants to be capable of going back and forth as much as he can? Or can he go forward in time? Because technically, if you think about it, he hasn't done that yet, so how does he know he's going to make a new body? But does that mean that since Xehanort's Heartless possessed Riku at a point, and so Riku technically became his body for a little while, does that mean he could go into Riku's body if he time traveled? Is that what he's planning to do? They said something about Riku and I was very confused, but that's the best thing I can come up with right now. It might not be what they're talking about, but if it is, that's actually a scary thought that because Riku was the victim of Xehanort's Heartless at a point, he could randomly be taken. Jesus Christ. A sound idea. Is this for beating Fantasia World? 
Complete Symphony of Sorceries by Soren Riku. I really get confused with these games. Like, either a lot of people have bought this game and just never played it. Oh, the world there never was! Oh my god, what? Are you kidding me? That's funny. By the way, just because um, because the combat level is pretty low for this, probably not going to try capping in this game. So yeah, but um, wow. Okay, I was going to say something. Um, what was I going to say? I completely forgot. Damn it. Eh, doesn't matter. Um, I want to go do some flick rush real quick. Um, maybe I might start this world just for a little bit because the third uh, spirit that I want to complete my team is actually in the world that never was from what I read up. I just need to read up exactly where it is and hopefully that area is close to the start so I don't go through too much of it. So it's basically going to be Fantasia's world all over again. It's going to be I go into the world for a bit. And then I'm gonna like cut it up. I'm cut off and do some grinding for my spirits. Um, and then I'm thinking of doing some flick rush after that. And then we're gonna do the flick rush tournaments. And then I'm gonna finish the game. That's what I'm probably gonna do. So I'm just gonna look up something real quick and then we're gonna get into this. Okay, so what I want is a little far into this, but I think that's fine. <coughs> it's better I get in now than later, I guess. Actually, um, I forgot, I want to get, sorry, um, I want to get Ace on that other one real quick. <sighs> I already got Ace of Sora, that's good. So I'm probably just going to jump cut to this to when I actually succeed, unless I succeed now. If you 30 enemies before time runs out. Ah, there we go. <laughs> now, I'm actually going to drop the Sora, because supposedly doing this world of Sora first is better. So... <laughs> Here we go. Defeat Queen Buzzfly. Okay, goddammit. Okay. I remember how she works. I just need to, um... Make sure I don't mess up.
That was a lower HP ball than normal. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. Faster. Faster. Yeah. This is, uh, new. Okay, I'm definitely not getting ace. <laughs> there we go. One minute seventeen. Will that be ace? Yay! Tame Media and Dive Wing, a new Keyblade. Keyblade that provides an extra boost in magic and makes it easy to land critical hits. Nice. Huh, <laughs> just gliding in here. I mean, I could have. Isn't this? I could have not got glide. Yes, the world that never was. Oh my god, it's actually back. It's been two games. Is the organization's world sleeping too? No, it, it can't be. I know I definitely found the seven keyholes already. So I've got to be awake again and in the real world. But why here? Oh, what's the <sighs> matter, sleepyhead? Zigbub. Who's there? Show yourself. We jumped through a lot of hoops to get you here. But it looks as if it's gonna pay off. <laughs> You're part of this? Hey, let's hit these plot points in order, Sora. Roxas. First, you must be wondering about your revised itinerary. Why am I here, not back home? The answer's simple. We brought you to this place, hijacked your little slumber party before it started, and ever since we've been both your companions and your constant guides. Before it started? Oh, the man in the robe! And so that guy in the black coat! And Xemnas! Oh. Bingo! You were able to go back in time to just before your home became a sleeping world, only because a past version of you already existed there. And I can see, in the past, you already met Mr. Rogue Guy. Yep, he was there then to make sure you ended up here now. That's ridiculous! It sure is. It's too perfect. Who'd ever believe it? Which is why you idiots never saw it coming. You thought you were off doing some kind of test, right? Well, test this. How come you're wearing the same clothes if you're already back home? You are not gonna wake up, okay? Look, there's no real versus dreams anymore. There's just you, us, and this. I see. Fair enough. So what? At least I know who to blame for it. Ooh. I see you still got that angry look down. But here is where I tag out. I got just a few more hoops I gotta jump through. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god, am I gonna fight Zigma? Oh, what the hell? What the Come fuck? Me. What? Pleasant dreams, kiddo.
Yes. This was where it started. At this point, I still had no idea that I was talking to myself. He cast away his bodily form just to set me on the appointed path. What do you mean? That is Xehanort, reduced to just a heart. The being you and your friends called Anson. Whoa! <laughs> Is that? Yes. The point in time that Zigbar mentioned. Me? Right before my world was swallowed by the darkness. To move through time, you must leave your body behind. Ansem first sent me on my way, and then placed himself here when the time was right. That is what set all these events in motion. What are you saying? That he knew everything that would happen? No, not everything. But remember, Ansem possessed Riku and saw his experiences in real time. So? That could only tell him so much. How did he know I would be here today? Simple. <sighs> Kyrie! You've been here many times. Your first journey, your voyage through memories, in the datascape, in your dreams, relived again and again, like deja vu. King Mickey? Oh. Whoa, what the hell? That's where it stops? What the hell? Okay, I was silent for that whole thing because I was explaining a lot of shit. But it just straight out drops you. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So it is. It's time travel. And Sora's been time traveling this entire time. But what about the world's he went to that were new. Was that because the organization had put him in those worlds to make him keep on thinking that he was on this little test thing when actually he wasn't? Were they sleeping worlds? That's my question. Were they still sleeping worlds, part of the mastery thing, but in the end he wasn't doing the mastery thing because Yen said wasn't keeping an eye on them? What I'm wondering is, is how did they like, take control. How were they able to farm, like, time travel Sora around? My guess is, since you need a body in that time, I'm guessing it's like your heart or something is time traveling. 
So your heart leaves your body and goes into another body uh, that's further back in time. So does that mean the organization has the power to remove Sora's heart and cause it to go through time? Is that what they've been doing? Holy crap, okay. Just mindfuck me, why don't you?